Many of you saw the huge outpouring of support for Cullen Finnerty by this university in our football program yesterday as they boarded buses and cars and headed up north searching for him. We are all deeply saddened by the news of his death and our sincere, heartfelt condolences go out to all of his uh, family and friends from the entire Grand Valley uh, community. Last time I saw him was actually last year at a football game. Um, same old Cullen, always enjoying himself and having a good time. He loved life. Uh, that's the one thing that I can say and remember about him always was uh, the smile and energy and uh, <laughs> he, he loved to laugh and just have a great time. I can remember sitting through meetings and between Coach Martin and Coach Colster at the time, you know, you're asking questions and it was, well, just watch what 16 does on tape. That's, uh, you're, if you can try to do half of what he's doing, you're gonna be all right. And that's, that's just kind of how I did it. Came in as a freshman and um, he, for whatever reason, saw me and took me under his wing. And you know, I owe him so much for the success that I had. First off, uh, thoughts and prayers to the whole Finnerty family. Um, I mean, <clears throat> it's devastating. Colin, we all loved him like a brother. We're gonna miss him, that's for sure, but. <sighs> and Colin's a guy that would he would drop anything to come help you out, you know? And, and so that's kind of where we stood yesterday. Cullen needed us and, you know, Coach Mitchell organized that event for us and current players who had never met Cullen, you know, took a day off of their summer to come and look for him, you know? And, and that says a lot about what we're doing and the culture that Cullen helped start. And it, it definitely goes beyond the playing field. It's all about you as a person, your trust, and, you know, Colin's a big part of that. His legacy is going to last uh, here a lifetime. Um, you know, Laker Nation and the Laker Faithful are going to, we're always going to remember what he did. I mean, three out of four years he played, a national championship quarterback, you know, leading the troops into battle. And that's one thing that I can say about him, too, is that, uh, uh, he was just a stinking warrior. You know, he taught me so much. Just preparation was huge for me in games and all that. And, you know, the games were won in the, won in the meeting rooms and preparation. And, you know, just let the, let the cards fall where they may and put the, put the team on your shoulders because that's what it's about being a quarterback. And that's kind of who he was as a friend. Just, you know, he's going to put all of us on his shoulders and carry us wherever we're going to go. And uh, he did that on the field and obviously all the – the championships that he won and the games that he won, that's, you know, that's just a microcosm of who he was. I mean, he, he wore everything on his sleeve, emotions, his thoughts. There, there was nothing that he hid from anybody that he was around. And you knew that. You knew when, when he was happy. You knew when he was in competitive mode. You knew when, you know, things maybe weren't going great. And he was open about that. And, uh, you know, I think that's one of the things that, he'll be remembered most about here at Grand Valley was that you were attracted to Cullen and not just his competitiveness. You were, you were attracted to his personality. And he was a, always bright. He was always happy. He was, you know, the life of the party. You know, and that's what I think he'll be remembered most for, aside from all the championships and records and everything else he did. He was, he was a great person how to keep 16's memory alive. I mean, he's gonna live here at Grand Valley forever. I mean, the guy is a legend. You can't say anything else. I mean, the stuff he did here is just, I mean, it hasn't been done anywhere else in the country at any level. I don't care what you say, the guy, he's a legend.